Dear reviewer, good evening and welcome to Spotlight. With me tonight, the Macomb County Treasurer, uh, Mr. Derek Miller. Derek, welcome to MEA. Thanks, Wally. It's great being here. Thank you. Derek, as Macomb County Treasurer, what issue you tackle in, in your office? What's the main objective of your office to serve the people, the citizens of Macomb County? Well, we tackle a lot of issues, but I would say definitely the most, the biggest issue, the most important issue um, would have to be the fact that we're the foreclosing government unit for the county. Um, okay. You know, that entails basically dealing with people's homes and collecting taxes for the local municipalities. So we're basically a large bank for the local communities within Macomb County. So you have to, you own a piece of property, you mm -hmm. have to pay taxes on that okay. property. If you become delinquent in that ta those taxes to the city, that city turns over its debt to me as the county treasurer, and it's my responsibility to go collect that debt. And a lot of that deals with individual homeowners uh, with their property taxes. So, But I thought like the taxes, the city send us the, first they send us the appraisal or assessment, and yep. then they send us the taxes. So we pay the city. That's right. Why, Macomb, why the county involved? Well, I talk, so the local city is responsible for assessing your property okay. and putting the taxable value of your property okay. at a certain level, and then they negotiate with that with you. And then when your taxes come owe through your mortgage, uh, most people have uh, taxes set up through their mortgage. With the mortgage payment. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh -huh. But if you don't... Um, so like you pay the city first. You pay the city. You go okay. to the city, you pay taxes. Okay. Otherwise... Uh, if you fall delinquent to the city, okay, the city can't afford to keep paying for all, or handling all these people's uh, not paying their taxes. So okay. then the city contracts with us as the county level because we have more money, we have more resources, and then we have to go out there uh, and collect the debt. And so then when we do that, the local uh, individual, the homeowner, has to come to the county level to pay their taxes. So that's how we become involved in that. And... Um, that's when we be, we get uh, our hands involved. How long it'll take if I pay, if I don't pay my taxes for the for my house for one year? Is the second year the county take over? Okay, so um, let's take 2013 for example. Okay. Right now we're foreclosing on homes that are delinquent from 2013. So you give them like three years. Two years. Two, year, two years. Two I years. See. So at the end of 2013. If they didn't pay the city, say you live in the city of Sterling Heights. Okay. If you didn't pay the city of Sterling Heights treasurer the amount of taxes you owe, mm -hmm. by March 1st of 2014, okay. the city hands us over those delinquent taxes. And so then we have basically the until the end of 2014, 2015, all the way up through March 31st of 2016 to collect that debt. Otherwise, you face foreclosure. And the county's then responsible for all that. Okay, when the city gives you the bill, what's the procedure you take? Right away you do foreclosure, you send them a reminder, you send them a bill. What do you do? Well, we send a notice out uh, first when we receive the information from the local community. When we buy that debt back from the local community, okay. they will receive a notice from us that now they are paying 12% interest on that debt. Oh, they pay 12 Oh, 12 I see. 12% okay. interest. I see. And then we continue to notify them that we have uh, the debt, we give notice. Um, then the following year in 2015, if March 1st of 2015, if they're still haven't paid their debt for 2013, that tax, that interest rate goes up to 18%. Wow. So it's a significant amount of interest you're paying, more than some credit cards. Mm -hmm. And so then we continuously notify them um, of that information. And then in November of 2015, we would have sent a notice out to that home again saying okay. that now your home um, is facing possible foreclosure. And we give them all that information to let them know that if by March 31st of the following year, next year, um, you're facing foreclosure of your home and, and at risk of losing your home if you don't pay um, this debt. And you really do foreclosure and all that? I mean, we do. you speak into the Middle Eastern community, a majority of Middle Eastern community, I want them to, to take it seriously. Because some of them, they said, you know, this year I'll pay next year. They send, you send them a final note. That's okay, I'll, you know, but you for really talking now. Absolutely, it is a, it's a very serious thing. And to a lot of people that don't understand 
the politics or the government structure. Yes. Don't know who the treasurer is. Uh, it's a very uh, confusing and, and uh, scary thing for them. And that's why we recently did the Keep Macomb Your Home advertisements um, mm -hmm. on Channel 2, 4, and 7, uh, like we're going to do with your television with MEA channel. TV, yes. Absolutely, with MEA TV, because we want to know, let people know that, you know, maybe you received this home from your mother that passed away or your father. Exactly, yeah. And you've never dealt with taxes before. Uh -huh. We have resources available to you to come and use our office as a resource. Put yourself on a payment plan because maybe you're struggling financially. Maybe there was a health crisis in the family True. and you had to pay yeah. medical bills mm -hmm. and you don't have as much money on hand as you thought you would. Don't do nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid and yeah. do nothing. Face the problem. Face that's the, the problem. That's the, the best thing. Yeah. A, that's how people get themselves into trouble most of the time is that they just avoid Ignore facing it. and ignoring the problem. Yes. We want you to attack it head on, mm -hmm. come with us, we partner up with MSU, uh, Michigan State University, okay. uh, with a resource program that they have to teach folks uh, from whether you have a diverse background, whether you face uh, poverty issues, or a number of different things. We teach you financial literacy. We give gotcha. you financial education Excellent. to get a hold yeah. of your problem. Me and my staff, we will put you on a payment plan because maybe you can't come up with that $3,000 that you owe us in taxes. Sure. That doesn't matter. We don't want you to lose your home. Give us $100 a month. Give us $200 a month. Tell, tell me how that payment is planned. If I have three years, or three years is the max, right? Mm -hmm. If I have a three years and, and it becomes $10,000, how I could make it payment, how I could say, should I come to your office? Should I go to Michigan University's program? What should I do to solve my problem? You contact my office. Okay. So first you go to our website. Okay. Um, which uh, is? MacombTreasure.com. Okay. Or you uh, contact our, our phone number, 586-569-5190. Okay. Um, we'll put it in a... Or you come yeah. to our office in downtown Mount Clemens on the second floor of 1 South Main uh, Street. Yes. And you come see us, and you meet with us, and we'll pull up your records. We'll pull up your pers individual property. Okay. And then we'll see how much you owe. And then we will try to get you fully paid within a year but if you can't get fully paid within a year maybe it takes two years but at first year it's critical that you show us that you're committed to solving this problem and that you to be in good faith good you know faith. That, show us some know. good faith yeah. show us that you're on time that you're meeting with us you're responding when we said notices to your house you're contacting us if you set up a meeting with to meet with MSU yes. uh, extension that you actually go to that meeting uh, mm -hmm. because anybody that we put on a payment plan that we defer foreclosure on we require them to go meet with MSU Extension to get a financial, uh, to meet with a financial counselor and to set up a plan. Do you have a relation with some financial institute? Probably you'll help me getting a loan for 10000 pay you, and then pay the bank in two or three years with low interest? No, we do not. You don't, yeah. I, you know, I sit on the board of the Habitat for, Macomb County Habitat for Humanity, mm -hmm. and uh, we work closely with people that try to, that can't maybe afford to go through a traditional bank, get a, a, a mortgage or get a loan. Yes. And so I do that, but that's philanthropy. That's a s completely set aside from It's what not I part do. of your program. Not what I do yeah. from at the treasurer's office. I see. Um, basically, we act as a bank for the local communities. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the local communities that can't afford to keep holding on to these folks' debt mm -hmm. and don't have the resources, we give them a check. In 2013, the delinquencies, March 1st of 2014, okay. Macomb County had $45.8 million in delinquency taxes. Okay. How we, much? $45.8 million. For, okay. $45,800,000. Yes. Me as the county treasurer, mm -hmm. we cut the local communities checks to cover all that debt. Wow. It's a large responsibility. That's, that's a great. And yeah. so then over the next two years, now through March 31st of 2016, uh -huh. we went out there door to door to collect that money, to collect that taxes. So in the meantime, for the next two years, those local communities didn't have to do that themselves. We're a tremendous resource to them so that they can then pay their teachers, pay their local police and fire, pay and, and provide resources for essential government services over the next two years without that money so That's that we great. take on that yeah. so that those local communities can comp completely uh, continue to provide the essential resources that uh, your community and other people um, in the in the local communities rely on 
for their government to uh, provide for them. That's great. Derek, how about if I am renting the house? I don't know what the, the, the owner is doing, if he's paying the taxes or not. What about if I rent it and suddenly you guys come and said foreclosure, get me out? How I could handle that? Well, that's one of the biggest things that we do. We've partnered yeah. with Carmela Sabal, our county clerk, because a lot of people that are renting the house or apartment or whatever, you know, they're yeah. in an agreement with their local or they're in an agreement with their landlord um, to maybe even if they rent the house for five years, they're in a land contract. At the end okay. of the five years, they'll own that property. Well, they're expecting that landlord to pay those taxes. Exactly. And sometimes when people rent properties, um, and on a land contract at the end of the five years, they think they own that property only to find out that there's six or seven thousand dollars in tax delinquencies. Yes. So what we'll do with we've worked with the uh, county clerk's office to provide notices of any time there's delinquent taxes, we send it to the house and to the tax to the renter and to the landlord. That's yeah, right. I see. So okay. that so that maybe if the person that's paying the taxes isn't is at a different address as the home that's delinquent mm -hmm. both folks both individuals that's a good idea. will receive notice yeah. that there's a delinquency on that property I and see. so that's what we try to do to make sure that everybody's on the same page so that if you're renting this home out or if you think you're on a land contract and you're going to own that home in three years and you find out that the landlord's not paying those taxes you can call that, that person up uh, and ask he or her why she, he or she is not paying these taxes and maybe then at that point that breaks the contract that you have with them and then you can move to some because it's not the else. fault of the the, the renter. person the rental you know absolutely uh, let's say which is i advise not to go to this point but if somebody doesn't pay the taxes and you come and and take over the house for a closure what's the procedure are you going to take them out the, the the people are you take well, over how right. what do you well, do we it? do we give yeah. them notice um, okay. if they have not paid by March 31st we provide uh, we actually go to the homes okay knock on the doors okay. speak to the homeowners mm -hmm. and if they finally do not respond to us or not pay that debt to us okay then we um, put no trespassing signs we post that the house is foreclosed on. Where, in their door? At their door, okay. in their yard, okay. yes. And we okay. make it perfectly clear to them. We send certified mail, and we let them know that there's been a judgment uh, in circuit court in uh, Mount Clemens, uh, okay. the circuit court of Macomb County, mm -hmm. that they are no longer um, entitled to be at that property, and if they're caught there, they'll be trespassing. Um, okay. However, I'm very happy and proud to say that we have worked with every owner-occupied home uh, in Macomb County that's in delinquency and we're not Great. foreclosing on any Great, because house is so homes. important to a family to live. Well, exactly, you know. and somebody yeah. that's just there that's fallen on tough times yeah. or just struggling financially, if you move them out of their house, they yeah. have nowhere to live. That's right. Then the house is abandoned. Mm -hmm. Then it cre creates a blight for the community. Yes. Uh, we want to make sure people are in their homes, know that we're a resource for them, and uh, you know that these people are uh, contributing to their local economies. Yes. Uh, which is so important. But let's say all that happened and they didn't pay. And they don't pay. What's the procedure? You put them in the auction? Yes. You do, what, what do you do? So we provide that notice, then okay. they have to move out within so many days. Okay. And then we usually have a, uh, in August, we, um, this year, you know, we reduced foreclosures by 30% this year. Great. Compared to the rate. Dealing the, with people and solving the problem. Yeah, absolutely. Compared yes. to where it was last year. Mm -hmm. So we have about 300 properties that we're dealing with okay and many of those are not uh actually properties with homes on them say only about a hundred lot or a building right empty, so say yeah. there's about 200 homes yes. that we have then we sell those homes the local communities have the right of first refusal great so yeah. we have to sell them uh if the if the houses are in warren mm -hmm. if the foreclosures are in warren the city of warren has the right to buy those properties from us before any other before we go to auction or offer them to any investors or individuals that want to buy those homes okay because so they could reach their citizen and try to because you know, they have a better they have a better grasp of what's going on yes. and they have more control at the sure. local level so sure. we offer them to the local communities if the local community does not want to buy it from us okay then we go to auction Okay. So we have about 24 to 20, 30 properties right now that are available to sell with homes actually on, existing homes on the properties. We offered that this August to uh, a bulk buyer 
to see if somebody wanted to buy that um, for the taxes owed on that property. Okay. If somebody wanted to come and buy all 30 properties from us. That did not happen. So now we move until September, okay. September 8th. Okay. is the date of our uh, next of our next auction. Now we allow somebody to come uh, individual, you can buy an individual property that's in foreclosure this year. Okay. Uh, but you have to buy, you have, the minimum bid for that property is the taxes owed on that property. Which is if it's a thousand, a thousand. If that's it's right. five thousand, five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. Okay, how individual, how myself I know about auction? When is the auction? Where okay. should I go and bet? Okay, well, you can go to our website. Okay. Um, so you can go to our website and find those dates out. And um, otherwise, the it's in the first week of September. Okay. Uh, and th is the first auction. And if we don't sell those properties all at uh, the auction of September, our next auction is October 13th. So, so if it doesn't sell, it goes to October 13th. October 13th. And okay. then you can buy the price for the home is a minimum bid of $50. Okay. And it goes to the highest bidder. And so those those auctions take place at Freedom Hill, which is on Metro Parkway, 16 Mile Road, yes. uh -huh. just east of Shaner Road. Okay. So you what do you have a meeting there, and all the people they want to buy, they go there and bet on it. Yep. Okay. So you have to you have. To is there a registration fee? A do you have to do something before? Yes. There's a okay. registration process with us. Okay. Um, that you have to fill out a. a one to two page document. Same day or before? Or? Uh, usually you have to do it before, but I okay. believe you can, for the October 13th auction, mm -hmm. okay. uh, you can do it same day. I see. And you come there, uh, and I think the minimum bid for a home is $50. And I that's see. it. Okay. Is this just residential or there's some commercial property too? There are commercial properties involved in this. I see. Um, you know, there's commercial properties all across the, uh, the county um, that have fallen into tax delinquencies and we have the responsibility of selling those uh, as well. Okay. If I buy a building or a property or, or residential, do I have to leave it the way it is or and, and, and increase the price and find somebody to buy it for a better price? Or do you demand to, from them to bring, because if it's foreclosure, probably the people, they neglect everything. And I mean, if they lose the house, they probably destroy the house before they leave. Right. Do you demand to, from the buyer to bring everything up to coat and enhance it and try either to sell it so somebody could live in it or rent it? How sure. it goes? You know? Well, especially w especially with the uh, bulk sale, okay. we do not. Um, we make sure that the the people that are investors with us that want to buy all the homes mm -hmm. and uh, go from there we make sure that they have a plan set forward where they're going to invest and rehab some of these homes. Is that demand up. from you to do that? Is it, excuse me? Do you demand from them to, yes, to bring do, it? I mean, they could tell you yes, and they doing nothing, and it's going to destroy the neighborhood right. because they're going to get the but, grass off. But, you know. but there's local codes, and there's all the cities have local ordinances in yes. regards to blight mm -hmm. and, uh, and code. Yes. And certainly a home, if a house is condemned, nobody can live there. Uh, yeah. It's against the law to live there, okay. um, but um, most people, yes, we would we demand a bulk buyer to say, hey, you know, how much are you going to reinvest in these homes? But all the local communities, even the individuals that buy on October thirteenth, okay. uh -huh. they're going to have to apply if the house is uh, in a in a condition that's not livable uh, by the city ordinance. Yes, they're going to have to bring that up to code for sure before they 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 live there. The or rent it or whatever, you know. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Derek, final message from you. We cater, of course, majority of the Middle Eastern community. And uh, the, the, the culture in the Middle Eastern community, sometimes the, 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 the parents, they working and they don't pay too much attention to Bill. And, and, and sometimes they don't take, I mean, I have to say the truth, they don't take things seriously. What's your message to them that if they don't pay the taxes, are you for real that you could, you could foreclosure? Are you for real if they don't pay in one year, second year will be 18% interest and it's going to be the problem will get worse and worse till they lose the house? I mean, it's a very, it's a very real problem. And, uh, and our message to folks is that if you're facing tax foreclosure, um, you know, do not let the fear of losing your home paralyze mm -hmm. your ability yes. to make smart financial decisions for you and your family. 
Mm -hmm. You know, we understand people are coming to us. Um, you know, they moved here from Detroit, trying to find a better life out of yes. uh, out of some portions. Well, he of was Detroit. working and he lost his business. Some people, you know. some people yeah. move here from Iraq. Some people yes. move here from Syria. Yes. Uh, regardless of your background, mm -hmm. um, you know, we want people to know that uh, me as the county treasurer of Macomb County. Um, my staff is dedicated to providing as many resources Great. at our disposal to Great. you. But it is a very serious uh, threat. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a prosecuting attorney, so I prosecuted people for breaking the law. Yes. The only government uh, power that's more, that's stronger than putting somebody behind bars is having the ability to take their property from Absolutely. them. Absolutely. I mean, and, you know, one thing I'm very uh, dedicated to as the treasurer of Macomb County is fighting blight. Mm -hmm. I do not respect people that don't respect their neighbors mm -hmm. or their properties or their local government. Right. And if you're pre creating a blight for the neighborhood and you fall delinquent on your taxes, I'm going to foreclose on you. Okay. But if you come to me because of an honest illness, uh, trouble with your finances, and say, you know, I sl fell behind in my taxes, I'm so, you know, I, I, I am dedicated to getting back on track. And I'm willing to pay, I'm willing but to give, pay. Me time. give me some Do time. Do me something, you know. We are your yeah. best friend. Great. And I'll Great. be there for you. I'll lend a hand to you, and we'll put you on a payment plan and get that figured out. But you have to come see us. You have to go to our website. You can go to our website uh, and look at what your current status is. How much do you owe? You can call us on the phone. All of these resources are available to you. If you need financial help because you're just not educated in this type of thing, mm -hmm. we'll provide that to you. But Great. you have to get a hold of us. You got to reach out to us, and we will be there for you. Well, Derek, thanks for your service. Honestly, what you're offering now, that come and we'll give you the help. We'll show you how. We appreciate that so much because we don't want nobody to lose their house. Absolutely. You know. Thank you very much for coming Molly, here. Thank you thanks so for much. Your I appreciate you having sure. me. Sure. Thank you. Dear viewer, that was Derek Miller, the Macomb County Treasurer. He is open his heart and his arm to you. If you have a problem paying taxes, please do not ignore it because it's going to get worse and worse and end up losing the house and, and your family in the street. So don't get it to, to this point. Go to their office. They're telling you, come to our office. We'll help you. We'll find a way to solve your problem. So please do that. Thank you very much and good night.